All right, Shalom, I'm going to do this real quick. Uh, this is uh, basically, well, you know what? Let me give an all praise to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai Bashem Kwadash. Shalom to the uh, pretend, the um, hopeful elect. Anyway, I'm going to entitle this uh, video, and I'm going to make it as quick as possible, unless the most I put the spirit on me. Um, I'm getting ready to go out on a slave. Anyway, it says, uh, the title is, uh, I am set for the defense of the gospel. This is what the Apostle Paul said in the book of Philippians 1, verse 17. And what's the gospel? The gospel is, is the, the gospel is not Jesus came to the world to save all people and mankind. No, that's not the gospel. The gospel is a whole book from Genesis to Revelation, the book of Revelation, uh, the Apocrypha, the book of Maccabees. That's the whole, that's the gospel. That's the gospel because in order to break down one scripture, you got to go to another scripture. What does it tell you in Isaiah? Precept upon precept. So that's, so you might, Something might come up in the Old Testament that you find the answer in the New Testament. Something might come up in the book of Revelation that you got to go back to the book of Daniel or the book of Matthew. So the, the gospel is this, this whole truth. All right. So this is pretty much a response to uh, uh, Priest Daniel Allah of Mac Maccabees TV. Uh, the name of the video is uh, Israelite uh, hashtag camps. Yeah, we know the brother very well. You know he he goes way back. He goes way back. Um, per, my personal opinion of, of this guy, I can't stand this nigga. Nah, that's uh, that's bullshit. And the brother's a good brother. Uh, you know if he came by us while we was teaching, we'll talk to him, salute him, shalom him. A Shalawam him. Uh, he he was uh, the running partner of uh, a priest uh, Bun Lawyer who passed uh, years ago. Which uh, priest Bun Lawyer? He used to come down to. He used to have the camp on 34th Street and 7th on Friday nights, and we would come out uh, on a Saturday. Even back when we was at One West, we we would. Well, one yeah, one West, uh, the House of David days, talking about in the nineties, and um, he would he knew that he that we were out there and he would be out. He basically be in the camp on a Saturday with us. He wouldn't necessarily speak. He might say a few words, but he'd come down to kind of hang out with us and be talking, you know, on the side. Um, and then uh, Don Allah, priest Don Allah, would come down some sometimes with him. Uh, this was after the year 2000. This is when we were on YouTube. And uh, yeah, I remember one video. I wish I can find it so I can put it up. I believe that was put up in uh, 2007, maybe 2008. And it was um, uh, Priest Daniela and Priest uh, uh, Bun Lawyer. And they basically, we were talking about uh, Nate, you know, the IUIC. And we were dealing with the Mark of the Beast. And, um, this brother, well, he said that the mark of the beast is a chip. He said in one of his raps, uh, his uh, hip-hop songs, whatever you call that, rap song, whatever the hell you call it. I don't keep up with rap. I, I used to, but, you know, when you get old, it, you know, it's only certain uh, cuts that come out, like they have that conscious, so-called conscious rap that you may listen to. Anyway, coming back to the subject, um... He in one of his raps he 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 mentioned the mark of the beast. He said, "Don't take the chip," or something something in the, along those lines. So he does believe that the uh, the mark of the beast is the microchip. You know, you know, straightforward. You know, he would say the mark of the beast is a microchip, and he even believe I said the video that he made with us. I think he even said it when he's talking about Nate. That Nate sold out this, that, and the other. Anyway, the uh, on the comment section of this live show, as you can see on the screen, there's a, a brother by the name of uh, uh, Yahweh Shai is coming back. Which this is a brother from Mississippi, a GMS. This brother, 
the dark skinned brother, the fiery dark skinned brother. He came out to New York a couple of times. That brother's <laughs> he he stays on fire. Head that brother stays on fire. Anyway, he's straightforward, man. He'll come out and ask you directly, uh, you know, direct, what does this mean? What does that mean, you know? So, I got another scripture I'm going to go to. But I started off with uh, 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 Philippians 1, verse 17. But, it, but the other of love. Uh, you know what? Let me jump up a couple of verses above that. Let me start the 14th verse. And many of the brethren of the Lord, our Lord, waxing confident by my bounds, uh, are much more bold to speak the word without fear. You know, a lot of guys don't go out, and uh, Daniela doesn't go out like he's supposed to go out. Uh, he might go out, but he doesn't put it on camera. You know, he has some type of phobia about that. You know, hey, you know, personally, the, the brother's all right. If we ran into the brother, we'll salute the brother. Because he is telling Israel that the, to the Israelites that the Israelites, you know, we think he should be more on the forefront because he goes way back. All right. He should be one of the forefront guys, you know, out there. And he likes to do his little presentations and debates, which he might be uh, Josephus or Tacitus or one of them Israelites back then that were like a historian, you know. So you know, bottom line, we don't we don't hate this brother. If he came around, we'll you know we'll we'll show him love and so forth. You know, um, and just like uh, the brother, uh, we call him Elder uh, Elder uh, Yikwab, which he's he's part of uh, uh, Priest uh, Zabak's uh, camp, and he he used to come out a lot. He come out there. He was at first he came out for maybe two minutes to loot us and kept going and uh, then he started coming out there and he kind of hang hang out for about an hour and he'll start hitting precepts and all that right so you know we hey, we show that brother love all the time man you know but we're moving around we got we're kind of <laughs> moving around so you know anyway it says um and many of the brethren in the lord waxing confident because your thing your job is to go out there to be an example so you, the younger brothers coming up can wax confident because they seeing you out there on, you know, on video, uh, putting up the videos and being out there teaching. And that's, and that's an example unto them. So, Daniela, you should be really on the forefront, man. It says, by my bounds are much more bold to speak the word without fear. It says, some indeed preach uh, Yahweh Shai, even of envy and strife, and some also of uh, goodwill. So some guys just speak just to get on, brothers. Now, it's nothing wrong getting on uh, individuals if they're going off. Hey, like we got on Adam Abbott. We rebuked them. The scriptures say to re rebuke them before all, that, that they may fear. So Adam Ab Abbott came around us a couple of times, salute us, or we're Adam, um, I'm this brother, that, this, that brother, you know, we're just saluting you brothers, you elders, because they learned from us. But then, but then the guy, Adam Abbott, and that crew said the mark of the beast is something that other than what we said. So guess what? We let him know what we f felt about that, that you were going off and that the Most High is not dealing with you, man. What does it say in Galatians 1 verse 6? Read that. Uh, it says, uh, the one preach Yahweh Shai of contention, uh, not sin sincerely. Because a lot of guys out there teaching, but they're not sincere. A lot of guys do it just for the money. And this whole IUIC thing, we find out that the leadership, not all of them, but some of them are in it for the money, man. And then you go off course. Your first priority is preaching this gospel, man. The kingdom, the riches is going to come in the kingdom. It says, supposing to add uh, affliction to my bound, bounds or bonds, but, but the other of love, knowing that I am set for the defense of the gospel. When you look up the word gospel, the word gospel, I'm sorry, not gospel, defense, defense. 
the word there is apologia. Now you should think about uh, uh, Vocab Malone and Dr. James White, the Edomite. Um, they, they are known as apologists. But guess what? We are also known as apologists. The word apologia, defense, means to be, to stand for something. The word apolo apologia, it, it means a verbal defense, speech in defense, a reasoned statement or argument. So we are also apologists for the gospel. And then being an, an apologist or in defense of the gospel, anybody that's teaching, like GOCC teaches that Edomites can make it. That's clearly not scriptural. And that shows that they don't know the scriptures or they got paid off or whatever the case may be. And we let them know, you guys are going off. The Most High is not dealing with you because you're teaching that Edomites can make it. And all you camps out there and all you Israelite men out there are supposed to let them know that these guys are going off so that others can see and consider, oh yeah, GMS said that these guys are going off because they said the Edomites can make it. Now, once they hear our video and they go and follow them guys anyway, they're going to be condemned along with the leadership. So now coming back to this video here, and I mentioned Yahushua is coming back. That's a second in command, I believe, of the uh, uh, Mississippi camp, formerly of uh, Chicago, GMS. And like I say, he's a fiery bro. He stays on fire, you know. And we here in New York, we, we love that brother. You know, that brother, hey, that brother come to New York, brother, we treat him, treat him like a royalty, man. He's, he's a brother that's on fire. Anyway, he came on the comment board. Uh... Let me see, uh, I'm not going to read all the comments, but if you go about 34 minutes, 34, 35 minutes in, uh, you see his com comment, he made a statement, Yahweh is coming back, if you block me, you wicked, <laughs> he's straightforward, uh, then he says, only if, only asking a question, and, and when you, when you go back a little bit, a f couple of frames back, he's basically asking the question, uh, what is the mark of the beast? Which, like I said, Priest Danya Allah teaches that the mark of the beast is the microchip. He, he, he said it in other videos. He came out and said it. I think, I believe he said it even in front of me. But are you an apologist for that part of the gospel? That's the question. He asked a question. All uh, Danya Allah, Priest Danya Allah had to do was say, yes, the mark of the beast is the microchip. Now, maybe he didn't want to answer it because the the, the the elder, young elder might ask him, um, well, why aren't you defending it? Why aren't you got videos on it? See, when we when a question is asked and you say yes or no, you give your yay or nay, uh, we're going to say, well, why ain't you defending it? Because we are the only ones that's defending um, um HODC believes that the mark of the beast is the microchip. Uh, GOCC believes that the market of beast is a microchip, um, but they don't defend it. You go on any of their pages, and you and you put in market of beast or the microchip or whatever RFID, whatever phrases you choose to put in, a video may or may not pop up. But if the video pops up, it might be two or three years ago. One video, you go on my page. You're going to see at least 30 videos on the Mark of the Beast. Hey, for the last, what, couple of weeks, I've been pushing the, the Mark of the Beast as the microchip. So I believe that the reason why Priest Danya Allah didn't answer the question, because this brother, the young elder, would say, well, why aren't you pushing it, and why aren't you getting on Adam Abbott? Because Adam Abbott is new in this thing. He's a novice. You know what the scriptures tell you about a, a novice, right? It has something to do with Satan. You, you can read the scripture yourself. Being a novice, at least being lifted up with pride, he come under the condemnation of the devil. So these guys unknowingly let this guy come under the condemn condemnation of the devil. So you brothers are not being responsible. I'm going to say this again, priest Danya Allah. you supposed to be on the front line, man.
Anyway, let me read some more of. Uh, okay, yeah, how shy is coming back? Only asking a question. Yeah, that's all he was asking was a question. He didn't say, "What is the mark of the beast, nigga?" He said, "What is the mark of the beast?" Uh, then your Allah then said, "Uh, you 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 don't see a keyboard in front of me, you know." Anyway, he says, "Then then um he says your mo what about your moderators, right?" And then somebody uh. Punchy fish is saying stop banging in the chat, brothers. The guy wasn't banging; he was asking a question. You guys need to grow a goddamn thick skin. It says we all like if I was on the thing and somebody said uh, ask me a question, uh, either Mike's gonna make it. I'll say absolutely, positively no. Moving on. You want me to give you some scriptures? I'll give you a couple of scriptures, but I'm on the other other subject. But let me go. And, and, and give me this give you the scriptures somebody said what is the mark of the beast uh to uh to har i would say the mark of the beast is the microchips no if ands or but buts about it okay it says uh somebody said warrior lord we all have to examine ourselves and repent you, you're right the scriptures say that Re examine yourself that's why guys go off Okay, so Ben says he's asking what is the mark of the beast. Simple question. All, all is required is a yes or no uh, answer. Uh, uh, Daniel Howard Shy is coming back. Uh, it says, uh, what is the mark of the beast? Priest Daniel Allah. No, ain't no banging going on. And then he asked, then he asked, I'm asking sincerely. So, you know, Priest Danya Allah basically says, you can watch the video yourself. You go to about 34 minutes, 35 minutes in. And he's basically fill it, filibusting and, and tap dancing. I'm just telling it like I see it, brother. All you had to do was answer the question, man. That's all you had to do was answer the question. And like I said, the reason why he, I believe the reason why he didn't because the next question would be, well, why aren't you getting on Adam Abbott? Who who got on Adam Abbott? GMS. Why? Because we're apologists for the gospel, defenders of the gospel. We are set for the defense of the gospel. If the, if you ask the Apostle Paul, whoever he may be, do you think he would dance around? No, he'll answer directly. It says, it goes on to say, this is uh, 1 Peter 3, verse 15. And I believe Yahushua is coming back, asked that question, if I'm not mistaken. It says, but uh, sanctify the Lord, the Most High Yahweh in your hearts, and be ready always, not sometimes. Well, I'm not dealing with that topic, brother. So you can't ask that question. It's a simple question. Yes, the mark of the beast. The mark of the beast. The mark of the beast is the microchip. Let your yay be yay and your nay be nay. You say yes, moving on. And what I'll do is, I'm dealing with this topic. Um, tomorrow or the next day, I will do a video and, and, and prove it. That's all you had to do, brother. Oh, another thing, uh, Alizar come to mind. Alizar came uh, came up on the great mill he saw all them videos i u i c i s u b k h o d c he saw all them videos and he said i'm going with great millstone through the years you know the back and forth you know with him and um basically he started his own thing uh sakari uh which you, if you go into the history of the sakari the sakari is uh, similar to um the the zilots and uh, basically, they were a a group of guys that was trying to tear down the uh, the Roman Empire, and they were part of that siege during the time of the Flavian dynasty, uh, during the time of Titus and Vespasian. The prominent groups that came up against the Romans was the Sicarii, the uh, Zealots, and there were some other Israelites leaders that came up and physically fought against the Romans. And when you go into the history, 
I'm going off a little, little bit on another su a subject. Um, and I did videos on this. When you go into the history, they, it's, it's said that those, primarily those three groups were fighting against each other and killing each other to be the head group. And um, it was said that if they had came together, they they would have, you know, most likely uh, defeated the Romans. You know, they had in, internal matters, which brings up the question about well, why can't all the camps come together? Because you got one camp saying Edomites can make it. You got another camp saying the mark of the beast is Chris, or two, three groups saying the mark of the beast is Christianity and embargo. You know, uh, you got another group that just want to have parties and, you know, chill out. Um, oh, you got, you got 10 Israelites come together. They all got leaders. They're going to fight on who's going to be the ultimate leader. And ain't none of them going to say, no, nah, I'll, I'll, let, I'll let him be the leader. He'll be the and ain't, that ain't going. You know how much chaos will come from that, from all, from all those different little gospels that they get, little, little, uh, uh, breakdowns that they got. A lot of these guys don't even understand these, these, these scriptures. They don't understand the breakdowns. And then when you go to tell them the breakdown, they're going to say, I don't got to listen to you because I'm the leader. Of this. That would never happen, man. That would never happen. And nothing but chaos. Anyway, let me, let me, now it's starting to get long. It says in 1 Peter 3 verse 15, But sanctify the Lord in your hearts and be ready always to give an answer to every man that asks you a reason of the hope that is in you with meekness and fear. And that's something that you didn't do, priest Danya Allah. So what you need to do is immediately make a video as answering this guy's question, man. Where do you stand? Where do you stand? And if you believe that the mark of the beast is the microchip, why aren't you get, I think about a gunnery sergeant Hartman from uh, Full Metal Jacket at the last scene when he got shot by uh, Goma Powell, Private Goma Powell, and the other private when they went into the when he went into the John, uh, the, the 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 bathroom. The guy was he had that shotgun. He was acting crazy, and then uh, the drill sergeant, gunnery sergeant Hartman, came in there and said, "Why aren't you stomping?" Private Powell's facing what? And that and that's protocol, man. That's protocol. A guy pop up, a group pop up, and say Edomites can make it. All you Israelite groups that know that Edomites are not gonna make it are supposed to put up videos and let the world know these niggas are going off, man. So it's your duty, priest Danya Allah, to make a video immediately, show taking a stand as to what you believe in, man. You said in a rap video that the mark don't take the chip, and I believe, and you said in a few occasions that the mark of the beast is the microchip. So why aren't you defending defending it, man? And I didn't want to come harsh like that, but the scripture say, "Let your yea be nay and your nay be your nay be nay, man." Anyway, with that, I'm gonna say. Uh, Shalom. So, you know, hashtag uh, Priest Danya Allah, please answer the question. Shalom. And uh, guess what? I already know. <laughs> when uh, Apostle Gabar see this video, he's going to do a response to it. Um, uh, when uh, Apostle Rhyme Lob see the video, he's going to do it. He's going to say something on it. And other brothers. And then. Yahweh Shai is coming back. He gonna he gonna come back and he gonna do something on it, man. Okay. And that like I like I said at the end of the day, hey, if I run into Priest Danya Allah, like, hey, I'll be happy to see the brother. And we don't got no hatred for that for that brother, man. We we don't got no hatred for that dude. You know. But he needs to answer that question. So you know, as soon as you as soon as you read it, see that video, brother, you you, you make the you know. You know, don't don't ride don't don't um ride the fence, man. Let your yay be yay and your nay be nay. You know, the dude, the brother asked a simple question. The man, the elder, the young elder, asked a simple question, 
And all you had to do was answer it and move on and say, I would have said, that, yes, the market abuse is a microchip. I'm on this subject right now, but you know what I'm going to do? Tomorrow, I'm going to do a video short proving that the market abuse is a microchip. And if um, he said, well, why aren't you defending it? And why aren't you going after these guys that's teaching otherwise? Then your answer uh, may be, you know what? You're right. I am going to take, well, in, this, in that video that I'm going to make, I'm going to address it, you know? Because as soon as Adam Abbott came with that nonsense about the mark of the beast being spiritual or whatever the hell they said, how many great, how many brothers from GMS jumped jumped on that thing, man? I had the, 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 the young brother, brother Ben X, uh, down with um, the uh, Fruit of Islam or the Farrak uh, Farrakhan's organization or the Nation of Islam. He did a video, I think he was focusing on um, uh, ISUPK. Um, of General Johanna, and basically when we saw that video, we it, it was all GMS that got, went back and responded to that dude, and then he came back and said, yeah, these GMS guys, those them guys, these GMS guys, then he did some study, oh, these GMS guys, they rape little girls, and they this, that, and the other, then it all calmed down, man, why, because we defended the gospel, all right, you know, stop being a, uh, how can I say this? Um, stop being a well, hashtag. Stop being a PC Israelite, man. Stop being a politically correct Israelite. Okay. Anyway, with that, I'm gonna say shalom.